Afternoon, how's it going? Chris Graham here for We Love Betting, talking Premier League football once again. Um, we won just one out of three last week, I was disappointed in that. Man City, well of course, I did say my bet the whole season, minus one, or rather just to beat Liverpool, but I also mentioned minus one. That came in at nice odds, but disappointed with Southampton not to beat West Brom. And um, I got Spurs massively wrong, I'll take that right in the chin. Anyway, three more bets. And the themes of last week are, are, are pretty prominent again here. I'm sticking with Man City. Um, they're, they're at home to Stoke um, this weekend on Saturday. City, I'm going for to win to nil here in this game. Only Chelsea conceded less goals last season in the league. Uh, 19 home games for City last season, 17 wins. 10 of those were wins to nil. That's pretty strong for me. Stoke finished ninth last season, but they're actually 16th. In the away table, so they really struggled away from home on the road. We know that nine away blanks last season from their 19 fixtures. Um, and the last five times these sides met in Manchester, every single time Man City won to nil. Three of them finished 3 0 to Man City, and two of them finished 1 0 to Man City. So for me, there's lots there, lots there um, uh, to encourage me to back Man City to win to nil on Saturday. I think they're going to be a destructive force again this season, especially at home, like we saw on Monday night. So you can back that 4-5 to five a bit, Victor. I like the sound of that. I'll be back on that this weekend. This next one, the stats do not back me up. It's just a gut feel. It's just a gut feel, and feel free to laugh at me. But I'm backing both teams to score in the Newcastle Crystal Palace game this weekend. Um, of course, Newcastle have yet to score this season, um, and I think that does, that they'll be that in terms of the league. Of course, they scored on, on, on Tuesday night in the um, in the League Cup, but they'll be determined, determined after the the woeful second half of the season um, to start scoring in this particular game uh, in front of their home crowd on Saturday. Crystal Palace, of course, they they, they scored. Um, they weren't exactly prolific last last season when it comes to scoring goals, but they, towards the end of the season they really kick in. They've scored both times this season in the league and won three 0 against Walsall on Tuesday night. Um, so they scored in seven of the last eight games last season and uh, the first two this season in the league. So nine out of ten overall. Um, um, and of course, of course, you got the Neil Warnock factor. Make of that what you will. It is, it is an odd appointment. There's no, there's no, there's no uh, debate about that. It's a very strange left field appointment. Um, but I just think you know. I think you have an an, an immediate effect, a short term effect, or or whatever. I think that, you know. It's been two weeks of uncertainty to the club. Another guy's come in. I can see. Um, a bit of urge, a bit of energy about the place, um, a bit, a bit of verve, uh, and I think, I think they'll, they'll notch on Saturday. I think, I think they'll score it. It's in James's Park. I expect Newcastle to score without any doubt, and I think Crystal Palace will score. I mean, uh, they scored in every game this season. Like I say, they scored in seven of the last eight games last season. Definitely capable of scoring against Newcastle on Saturday. You back that at odds against a twenty-three to twenty with William Hill for both teams to score in the Newcastle Crystal Palace game. And finally, I think it's another Saturday game. I just want to get West Brom. I just want to, I just want to, I just want to squash West Brom. I'm going to have another go at it this weekend. Back in Swansea, beat them at home. Uh, Shade of odds on 20 to 23 with Bet Victor. Um, both sides, you, you'd have to say, have done better than expected so far this season. Swansea beat Manchester United and Burnley. Uh, two of the men was in, in the division there. West Brom, of course, drew with uh, Sunderland and Southampton. Um, surprised, surprised at that, really, to be honest. I thought Southampton would beat them on Saturday. But I just want to oppose West Brom. I've been, you know, we've, we've been through this. You know, they've got a rookie manager. The, um, you know, this, this this squad's pretty average. And I think Swansea feeling pretty good at the moment after the events of the last couple of weeks. Gary Monk must be feeling, he must be looking himself in the mirror every 10 minutes. Looking great, looking great, Gary Monk. He must be feeling great. And what an opportunity for Swansea. This is one of the easiest fixtures of the season. If they win this, they get nine points out of nine. 
uh, it could be top of the table by the time we, we sit down for tea on Saturday night. And that is an incredible achievement. We should be saying to these players, look guys, we could be 9 out of 9 here if you win. could be top of the table. It's an amazing opportunity for Swansea on Saturday. I think they'll grasp it. Let's look at the League Cup form as well. West Brom toiled past Oxford. Needed penalties to get past Oxford. Swansea, we've seen lots of Premier League sides struggle against lower division uh, sides. Not Swansea, they got back past Rotherham 1-0. Decent result. Rotherham started the championship in, in pretty decent form. I was impressed by that result uh, for Swansea League Cup. So I'm going with Swansea on, sa on Saturday. So I'm on Premier League treble. Man City to win to nil against Stoke at 45 with Bet Victor. Uh, both teams have scored in Newcastle because the Palace game at 23 to 20 with William Hill. And Swansea to beat West Brom 20 to 23 with Bet Victor. Enjoy the weekend.